This Fit Life, Pam Morris with Chesterfield Family Fitness Center is with me and you're helping me do the final exercises before I get approval to run once again after meniscus surgery. Yes, because you're doing very well and we always want to throw the bike in there for part of your non-weight bearing muscular endurance. Okay. Let's stress and strain the knee and then we're going to work on some extra exercises. So we're going to do um, knee extension standing. Okay. So I'm going to move you just your foot forward a little bit. Okay. So the hanging leg this is leg? behind the front leg. Okay. Right. Okay. So you're just going to come up through your hip, flexing the knee, and then just kind of hang that leg. Okay. So we're also working on uh, balance, knee flexion, ankle mobility. So we need to make sure we have all of that before we proceed on to more advanced exercises. So hold this for about yeah. 10 and seconds. Just kind of move your hip a little bit. Touch. You can touch down on this shorter. Ah, uh, I see. Height that you're on, because we'll move up to a little bit higher. But so we're kind of, yeah. I'm just kind of so doing. You can feel your extension in your knee. Right. Your hip, you're moving your hip towards me just a little. There you go. Right. That's perfect. When I am touching down. Yeah. On so here. So that's also working the quad. Yes. That's okay. what we want. Okay. Muscular endurance in those quads. Okay. So this is a little bit taller. Right. So now when we move up a little higher, we don't want that hanging leg to touch down. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to move. So it. it's yes. kind of going to be. And your knee won't go past your toes. Don't we touch. A little work in the hip here. Push okay. towards me. There you go. So I'm leaning more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good hips, good knees. So okay. We're keep those hips strong also. Good ankle mobility and good knee extension. Very safe. Okay. 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 And then the third thing, and Paul's moved up to squatting. Okay. And um, we're going to squat. He can squat with the kettlebell, and we just want to watch the range of motion. So he's going to draw his hips and glutes back behind him and keep his knees right over his toes. Okay. And the kettlebell is going to keep him from going down too far. And you want me to hold it like this yeah. and don't go yes. past this point. And good back position. Okay. There you go. So, for me, it helps sometimes if I'm looking at the ceiling to make yeah, sure. Well, just, let's look just kind of straight ahead a little bit with this one. Okay. Yeah. So, but, straight out. But you're keeping that back nice and straight. Good knee flexion, good stability. And again, the yeah. elbows hitting the thigh. Touching the thigh. Is keeping me from going too, too deep. Too far. Right. We okay. don't want to go any farther than that at this point. How many of these do I want to do? Okay. You could do three sets of 10. If okay. You want to work up to that. But right. one set of 10, you have any a little bit of pain, then we may have to reverse a little bit, and uh, we may use a towel and put behind your knee and go to some more seated knee extensions just to check. Okay. And what do you think? Am I going to get approval to go run again? I hope so. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. After and the you, same surgery you've had. You've had the same had. surgery. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I maybe shouldn't be saying that. That's but all right. I've been yeah. running five years since my surgery, so we're going to get Paul on the way back. Boom. Okay. Fingers crossed. Yes. All right, that's the latest Fit Life.